Hello everyone, today I'll present a brief guide on a cool combo King can do with Aero Jutatsu. We'll focus on the combo being used as a reversal punish, be it a DP or even some supers, but you can technically do it in other situations as well. As I'll show in the video now, the combo does very high damage whilst requiring little drive gauge. Now, why would we want to use this combo? As I've already hinted to, this combo only requires two OD specials, allowing you to have a high damage punish without necessarily burning yourself out. And even if you wanted to cash out to finish up the round, as long as you have slightly above two bars of drive, you'll be able to do this combo, whereas a standard DRC combo wouldn't allow you to get more than one drive rush, limiting your damage. This ties into the second point. This combo is the highest damage DP punish you can do as him only lagging behind specific crouch, jump in, punish combos which aren't really feasible when it comes to DP punishes. This goes for any of the super enders you can choose. In the video, now I'll be showing comparisons to, with this combo to optimal combos you can do with each super ender. Given the pros, you may think, why not always use this combo? Well, there are some downsides we can't really overlook. The most important one is execution, as the jump requires a precise one frame window, and the jumping medium punch needs to start as soon as possible, so right after the 5 pre-jump frames. This is all fine and well if there's some sort of frame kill, but that usually isn't the case. More on that in the character specific section. The second drawback is that by using OD Dragon Lash, you'll side switch with your opponent, which isn't always ideal. Thankfully, this isn't a big deal, given Kent's great super options. SA1 side switches again. SA2 has enormous frame advantage in corner carry, pretty much placing you back mid screen, even if you do it to a cornered enemy. And SA3 does so much damage that the opponent should be dead. Now I'll stop talking and show the clips of the punishes done on every character against which it is possible to do, only excluding Akuma and Rashid whom I don't own for now. On screen I'll also show the number of frames you'll have to wait before jumping after the end of lock stun. This will be referred to as gap frames. So I'll cue the clips and thanks for watching. <laughs> 